Today's budget tip is to use cash for your groceries if you have a hard time keeping your grocery food budget in check. More or less, I'm saying engage with the envelope system, or as the kids call it these days, cash stuffing. Effectively in practice, it looks like this. At the beginning of the month after your first paycheck or right before your first trip to the grocery store, go to the bank or the ATM and pull out the money that you need for food that month and stuff it in an envelope. Now, when you go to the store to buy groceries, you only use money that comes out of that envelope and you label it food or groceries. This gives you a tangible representation of how much money you have left in your budget to spend on food. And it also engages the pain centers in your brain a lot more while you're spending. If you were to go spend $1,000 on your credit card, you probably wouldn't feel that much. However, if I put $1,000 in cold, hard cash on your dining room table, and told you to go spend it, well, I think you're going to be a lot more thoughtful because it's more painful to let go of that much tangible cash. And that's why cash stuffing for grocery spending causes more friction between you and an impulse purchase. It helps you say no to non-frugal impulses while you're shopping. Grocery stores are very good at making you make impulse purchases. It's actually what we're going to be talking about next week for the main topic. So in summary, if you're struggling to keep your budget in check for food, use cash.